the thing that we realized, and I'm glad we did, uh, is that the concept of building a fleet that truly was fungible, fungible for all the parts of the life cycle of AI, fungible across geographies, and fungible across generations, right? So because one of the key things is when you have, let's take even uh, what Jensen and team are doing, right? I mean, they're at a pace. In fact, one of the things I like is the speed of light, right? We now have GB300s bringing, you know, that we're bringing up. So you don't want to have ordered a bunch of GB200s that are getting plugged in only to find the GB300s are in full production. So you kind of have to make sure you're continuously modernizing, you're spreading the fleet all over, you are really truly fungible by workload, uh, and you're adding to that the software optimizations we talked about. So to me, that is the decision we made. And we said, look, sometimes you may have to say no to some of the demand, including some of the open AI demand, right? Because sometimes, you know, Sam may say, hey, give me, build me a dedicated, you know, big, you know, whatever, multi-gigawatt data center in one location for training. Makes sense from an open AI perspective. Doesn't make sense from a long-term infrastructure build out for Azure. And that's where I thought we did the right thing to give them flexibility to go procure mm -hmm. that from others mm -hmm. while ma maintaining, uh, again, a significant book of business from open AI, but more importantly, giving ourselves the flexibility with other customers, our own one P. Remember, like one of the things that we don't want to do is be short on. Uh, is you know we talk about Azure. In fact, some of times our investors are overly fixated on the Azure number. <laughs> but remember, for me, the high margin business for me is Copilot. It is security Copilot. It's GitHub Copilot. It's the healthcare Copilot. So we want to make sure we have a balanced way to approach the returns that the investors have. And so that's kind of one of the other misunderstood perhaps in our investor base in particular, which I find pretty yeah. strange and funny because I think they they want to hold Microsoft because of the portfolio we have. But man, are they fixated on the growth number of one little thing called Azure? <laughs>